Good evening and welcome back once again. Today we're facing Mallorca away. We've got a few matches um, in a short space of time, but we're already in November. Season's going very quickly. And quite a few changes today. We've got Post coming in goal, Teixeira McDowell coming in at the wing backs, Balbuena giving Omaragic a rest. Gonna go with a central three of Herrera, Mariba and Vieira. Up top, Castro is starting with Arcas and Bajer alongside him. And away at the Mallorca Stadi. We've been in very good form recently. It's been maybe a little bit easier than I thought in Division 1. Well, I say that, at the start of the season actually we did struggle to score. We were still getting three points. We were getting one nils and two ones. I think almost every game in the first five or six were um, one goal wins. So all of them were very close. And then more recently, we've been suddenly finding that goal score and touch and been winning games a little bit more comfortably, being a little bit more sound defensively as well. It's all just sort of coinciding. Um, but we have had to change the team up a bit today. As we know, we're going to have to do. It's, it's going to be a very busy season. We're now in three competitions. We've got Europe to contend with as well. So mixing things up. So got Arcas and Bajer playing on the wings. I've actually switched them to a second striker position. Um, cause that's where they're best at anyway. Castro, 1-0. And already they're linking up very well. Arcas on the wing or second striker position. Nice little 1-2 of Castro. And then Arcus has come, slots it back to uh, Castro and a really tidy finish. Of all the buys that we've had or players that we've brought in this season, he has been the most consistently um, consistent performer. He's looked good in every single match he's played, whether it's from the bench, whether it's starting. And I've said it before, I didn't expect him to have this much of an impact. I expect them to mainly be a sub now and again, start the odd game where we need to arrest people. But he's now becoming potentially our first choice centre forward. Here's Herrera. Oh, that's well wide. He's on and up. He's on an upward green uh, or blue. Um, and when you've got players in that sort of form, you want to get them involved as much as he can so I was trying a, a long shot thinking you know I might uh, hit an absolute worldie wasn't to be I mean all the signings we made have been very good don't get me wrong but Mariba one of the uh, the new guys ah, that chair just gives it away there Emerson, who's not playing today, is probably potentially the second, I would say, in the list of, of players that have have been the most consistent. Maybe he's tailed off a little bit. In the first sort of five or six games, he was without doubt one of our best players consistently in the matches. Um, I think Cousins has been solid throughout. He's been linking up very well. He looks very classy. Mariba started a bit slow, but he's... Um, had some really stellar performances recently. So he's settled in a little bit slower, but he's um, now in pretty good form. Ah, Castro just wasn't strong enough there. There wasn't much support. Nice play there by Vieira. That's a poor ball by Bajer. was... Strange one, actually. Good interception there. Now Castro, Bajer, has not much space, but managed to keep it. That's a foul. Yep. Do we want to take a shot from here? I wish Cousins was playing. Let's go with Vieira. You know what? Why, let, why not have a shot? Oh, that's well over. <laughs> well, well over. 
Hope he's still trying to find the bolt. Castro with a fair bit of space there. Castro, Bajer. Nice ball, but just overruns it slightly. Maribe. Oh, Nelly gets fouled. Good shot. Did well to get the shot away. Defender had to be careful as well. Vieira mops up. Nice play to from Vieira back to him. That's oh, blocked. Alcas. Castro again. Oh, I think Alcas would have been offside. They did well not to touch it. Right, chance from a corner. Two nil, and we have been getting better at the corners. Was that Bajer? It was. Not the tallest player, but he stooped down to air. Uh, well, he didn't need to be tall, did he? <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I've just found a way that the corners are a little bit more consistent. And the way I do it is I don't add any spin on at all. And I play it, try and play it just over halfway on the power. I tend not to adjust the aim too much, maybe a little bit further towards the keeper, like a touch. Um. And it seems to work more often than... I used to always like try and swing it in with some curl, some power. It didn't really seem to work very often. Right, we're fairly comfortable. We don't want to get sloppy. They've had a half chance there. Um... Nice ball out wide to share it. It's genuinely not who I was trying to play it to. I was trying to play it out wide. Nice, spread the play out wide. Go down the different channel. Oops, nearly lost it there. Nearly lost it twice, actually. And there it is, half time. Pretty comfortable. Two good goals. And possession wise, just under the 60% mark. They had one chance and it was pretty well wide. It was half chance really. And considering we're resting a lot of players, some of these players wouldn't be what we would class as our first choice. This is a pretty solid outing so far. Nice play by Castro there. Mariba. Oh. Castro is so dynamic. Certainly don't need to look for a new striker. Share it. Ah, just too close to the keeper. Because I know we said a while back we were going to look for someone to support Xerxes. Um, here's Bajer for a second. Oh, just wide. Yeah, but we, we were going to potentially look for like a world-class striker or a youngster that could come in to support him. And... I think the youngster with Castro is the way to go. I'm gonna stick with that so we don't need to really splash any cash. We've got those two that can play up top. And the likes of Perez that can 
play up there and he has done so very well if needed. Nicasso can play out on the left as well. Oh, over. Now that was a good chance. Yeah, I was thinking what positions do we need to strengthen and... I don't really know to be honest. Um, maybe another winger. I um, know that sounds tough because I've got the likes of Bajer. But... Uh, Bajer, as good as he's been, he's certainly not world class. Um, you know, could we get another... Potentially someone that's even better than Perez and have Perez as the second choice or sort of utility player? I, I don't know. Um... Nice play there. And again. Take share on the overlap. Ah, uh, unlucky. Oop, keep it flapping a little bit. Vieira took too long to shoot there. But we'll make some subs when this goes off at some point. If it does. Nicely played to Herrera. Herrera. Oh, that was a decent shot that time from Herrera. Do you know what? We might not actually make any subs today. Because everyone's pretty tired anyway on the bench. Um, and if you look at the time now. Oh, nearly through to Bajer. Yeah, I mean, the ball hasn't got, gone out anyway, so. Pass from McDowell. Got through in the end though. Ah, just a bit of a heavy touch. They are some tired legs now, so I can understand that. Just uh, less than 15 minutes to go. Hasn't been the most spectacular performance. It's been good and solid. They've got a half chance. Got to be careful. Post actually hasn't had a save to make yet. Um, they haven't made the most of their... You know, the odd time they've been forward, they just been pretty wayward with their shots. to play through to Arcas there. How Arcas didn't get that, I don't know. That was a good pass. Just didn't react. Good tackle there. That's... Nope, again, that wasn't who I was trying to pass to. <clears throat> Does that sometimes. Even if you're aiming in the right place. That's better. Come on. One last chance, maybe. Castro. Oh, just wide. 
Nearly 3-0, but it's a solid performance and another three points with a slightly weakened team. Again, we had the majority of the possession, most of the shots. They didn't have a single shot on target. One or two of their chances were half decent and they just didn't make the most of it. And rating-wise, very, very solid. A minimum of six for everyone. Ruben Castro getting man of the match. Without doubt, he was. Vieira Bajer also getting a seven and a half. And the next match is at home to Real Betis. But as you can see, there were six points ahead of Real Madrid. Real Betis were actually in fourth spot, so they're doing pretty well. So that should be a tough match. But once again, thank you very much for joining. Hit that like button. Drop a comment down below, whether it's just to let me know what you think of the match or the series in general. Hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with the channel. And I'll see you all next time. Cheers.